Starbucks is closing seven stores in San Francisco by the end of the month. It's the latest big chain to pull out of the downtown area following Target and Whole Foods, who cited rising homelessness and safety issues. Yahoo Finance's Brooke Tom is here with more. Brooke, you know, I keep trying to figure out as we keep getting these headlines, how much of this is routine and how much of it is unusual. What can you tell us about Starbucks in particular? Right. Good afternoon, Julie. Well, certainly here, Starbucks playing this as a simple real estate strategy. They're saying that it's a standard course of business and they continue to evaluate the store portfolio. So those seven stores in San Francisco will close on October 22nd. And they said that employees were informed on Monday and they'll be given the opportunity to transfer to another location on that date nearby. Now, as you can see here, these store locations are mainly in the downtown San Francisco area that's gotten a lot of buzz recently, especially post-COVID. They include on Mission and Main, Battery Street and Market Street, among others. And it is worth noting that none of these locations are union stores. So these are not stores that voted to unionize. But in a letter from Northern California Regional Vice President to employees, she said that there are several factors Starbucks considers when tasked with the tough decision of closing a store, but it's all part of ensuring a healthy store portfolio. Now, despite these closures, Starbucks will still have a presence in San Francisco. They now have 59 stores in San Francisco, and following these closures on October 22nd, there will be 52 remaining. But when Starbucks asked if this was a decision uh, made due to a threat of safety of both employees and customers, well, Starbucks spokesperson declined to comment on that front. But as you noted, Julie, this is a big story here, considering the fact that just last week, Target closed three stores in the San Francisco and Oakland area due to a threat of, of retail uh retail crime and organized retail crime, that is. Also, in addition to that, we saw earlier this year, Whole Foods Market closed on Market Street in San Francisco due to safety concerns. And you see here a slew of others have recently closed, including Amazon Go stores, Anthropology, Office Depot, Old Navy, as well as Saks off Fifth. And this also comes as San Francisco downtown area, you know, they continue to struggle to bring back foot traffic post-COVID as not many people, office uh, employees are going back there as we continue to see vacancy rates rise uh, in offices downtown. So certainly lots of factors, but Starbucks saying here is simply a real estate play. Brooke De Palma, thank you.